Hello everyone, Akles here, bringing you a short tutorial after a long time, but I hope that this one will be helpful for you as I will try to explain to you how to record gameplay from a game both with audio and video. This is mainly for PC, but I'll show you a way to do this for consoles as well, but that will come in another video, so if you're not looking for a way to do this on PC, if you want it for consoles, then please, you don't have to watch this. Uh, anyways. I'm using the X story to record my gameplay. It is uh, I can show you. It is a application that is Japanese if I'm right. And if you Google the X story, you will find it. It will be right the first link. The site is a little bit slower, but just choose English and then you can see like mainly information about the application itself. And if you go to buy it will tell you that you need at least one license per user but then you can use the license on more computers so maybe that you can um, you know you can you, you can use the license together with your friends and you can like put some money together because it shows that it is 3600 Japanese yens I think it's yens uh, that is like almost fifty dollars it's not really cheap, but if you're going to record um, gameplay, then I really recommend getting the X-Story. It is one of the best applications for recording gameplay on the computer. It's for me, it's really better than uh, Fraps. So, anyways, if you get the program and you kick it up, first of all, you will want to set up your default profile. As you can see here, I have all these games below and applications. It even monitors these. So you can use it for more than one application with different settings. So let's say, um, well, I'm going to show you the default settings first of all. So in the first tab, you don't have to set up anything. These are like for comments or such, I think. On the second uh, second page, uh, you can set up to show your FPS monitoring like display. It doesn't show up in the video if you don't take this right file FPS and so just take video FPS in with and it will show up in your game I really recommend it because when you start recording you can see it turns red you can set up these colors to whatever you want I use green and red as it really is the best to spot so let's move on to folder here is where you specify your folder and uh, you can also benchmark the speed of the writing uh, to the disk if you are not sure if your hard disk is like fast enough, but it should be definitely. On the next, so on the next tab, you set up your um, your sh like shortcuts or hotkeys uh, to start recording or take a screenshot. So you can set up any any of these. I recommend you to set it to your own, but I use these because I'm used to this from Fraps because I've used it before. So now let's move on to movie. In here, you will want to set it up exactly as I have it here. Otherwise, I don't think you're gonna get really good quality in like smaller file sizes and such. So, video codec definitely go with the extra video codec and set it to YUV 410 4x4 4 low quality. Even though it says low quality, you won't spot a difference between this one and the high quality. You will spot a difference between the three on bottom and the RGB way and you can you should take compress if your PC is fast enough it will be if it do, if the video will be laggy make sure to in untick compress and try some different settings now let's move on you don't have to take clipping and do anything in this lower part here on left uh, on the top right part set frame it whatever you want if you're like going for um, let's say montages you can set it to 60, 120 or even more I think you could well no it won't take 300 as it is red but it will take yeah it will take I, I think up, up to 200 maybe even more you can try it out I leave it on 30 because I mainly record commentary so I don't need anything else now output file output is very diff uh, very important to take otherwise you don't write the file and make sure to record to AVI because I don't know how to work with raw cap from what I've heard it is better than 
heavy for like compression and keeping it on your hard drive because it is smaller but EVA works really good so use that now in the options part you can include your mouse cursor I do that it doesn't work in all the games but in most of the games I just want to you know let people see where my mouse is pointing I'm not even sure if you can see when, where my mouse is right now uh, because I'm recording with fraps that's the only way for me that works for Windows anyways so, synchronized video FPS I recommend to turn this off it is like um, video synchroniza synchronization in games which makes the FPS run the same as your recording rate or the monitor rate and that could throw off your DX3 and make the video laggy so definitely set it to and uh, le leave it unticked. Now in the scaling part make sure to don't put in higher resolution than your screen resolution is because if your resolution is like uh, let's say 960 by 540 then you can't put in uh, 1000 or 1280 by 720 it wouldn't it wouldn't work my screen is 1080p so I can even put in like uh, this or simply use the person way and put in 100 percent but I keep it on 720p because it is smaller and most of the videos I do are in 720p anyways so now let's move on to the audio part uh, here is the main part of you setting up the way to record both audio of the game and both your microphone at the same time so um, if you'll start the extra you will have only one number here so you have to click plus to add another number and that's basically your audio stream which is the like let's say a file in the AI that records audio so in the first one make sure to take record sound, sound and select the audio device that you know from which is coming your audio from like the game you know it should be there like uh, reproductors or speakers there will mostly be speakers and either like maybe that I have right now these are my headphones because it's 3 USB so that's how I know um, I use PCM at 44 kilohertz at 16 bit that's really enough you don't you could even put it to lower numbers but don't do that and mainly make sure to set it to stereo otherwise people will hear only like one side on left or right so that sucks make sure to remember this now let's move on to the second stream in here as you can see I have set microphone uh, sound device USB which is basically uh, the device to record from my microphone and as you can see I have only one microphone here and these are speakers so make sure to set it to speakers and on the first one oh I mean make sure to set it to microphone and on the first one set it to speakers that way you will record both audio of your speakers and your microphone and in the audio codec set PCM and the format same as in the speakers setup so I think that this is uh, this should explain it pretty well and uh, now let's move on to screenshot in here you can set uh, your screenshot um, settings and you should configure your hotkey for screenshots I have it on F5 so if I press F5 in the game even while recording it will take a screenshot to my specified uh, folder and you can open it later alright let's move to advanced in here as you can see everything is unticked and processing treats I recommend sending this to half of your CPU cores so if you have a dual core set it to one if you have a quad core like me set it to two it works the best for me if I set it to higher it was simply slowing down the game too much and if I set it lower it was uh, laggy so it works the best way limited your FPS you can do this if some games are not working the right way um, but I don't recommend this it mainly makes the video a bit stuttery instead of like really smooth so don't do that now all this stuff higher above if you understand it you can play around with it I don't need anything of this it's mainly setting of your like hardware settings with GPU and RAMs and such stuff which isn't really so important because if you get the stuff before right you don't need to mess around with these settings in the last part the global settings is only like settings of the extra as the application like showing task tray icon that's pretty self-explanatory so now that you've got set your default profile when you leave the extra running and you launch a game 
and you quit the game, the game will get recorded in here. It wouldn't be named the same way, it will be named like, you know, Battlefield 3 together.exe, like the file that runs the game. So, anyways, if you click on it, you can then type the, or click on the pencil to edit the name by double clicking on it and type in whatever you want. Uh, just enter and that's it. And in here, you can use, use default settings to make it run by the default profile we set up in the beginning. You can do that bo both for audio and video. And that's the easiest way if you got your default profile. And if you know that you want to be recording Battlefield 3, let's say in 1080p and maybe modern warfare in 720p, you can leave it like this. You see that my modern warfare game will be recorded in 720p while Battlefield 3 will get 100% of scaling size, so it will be 1080p. So I hope that this tutorial will explain to you how to record video the best way with audio of both your microphone and game audio into one file. It will get recorded into one huge file. It won't be split into many files like in Fraps. So this is a very good way of doing it. And then just work with the files in Sony Vegas or After Effects, whichever you prefer. Um, I use Sony Vegas because I think it is a bit faster when re rendering for me. And I could maybe show you now, um, even though I don't have any real clips, I'm just gonna exit DX3 and launch Vegas Pro to show you what it will look like after showing up in the files. So let's wait for Vegas to kick up. Okay, so here I am in Sony Vegas, and as you can see, I have my intro in the front. This is my like default template I use when I run tip, uh, Sony Vegas. It just launches with my intro in the front, and I can just drag in my video file and drop it in. And as you can see, there are three different layers. So, if you take a look here, the first layer is basically video of the game. And the second layer will be audio of the game. The third layer will be your audio from your microphone. If you set it to uh, in the X3, the one to you know speakers and the second to microphone. So this way you can play around with the audio levels in here and pretty much have fun. So, uh, as you can see, it is just straight line because when I recorded this clip I didn't have my headphones plugged in so it didn't pick up any sound from the microphone and I was actually playing the sound through my speakers not through my headphones so I hope that this explains it to you it is pretty simple to do it just make sure to high, uh, make sure to set your volume of the microphone to a little bit higher if it is too low uh, I have to do that every time microphones on most headphones don't record audio through the extra way too loud, but it's better to have it a little bit, um, you know, under your optimal volume than to have it really l loud and distorted and such stuff. So I hope that this will help you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and feel free to ask for the next video, which I will want to show you how to record audio and you know microphone audio and video and game audio at the same time from consoles now I'm kind of screwing up anyways it's been longer than I expected so thanks for watching if you are still here and I'm out bye